All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin, and this is gonna be a check-in of the slow versus fast food experiment we set up. We're also gonna check on that plastic bag, which I think is right here, and it was full of raspberries. And then finally, we'll feed the bin if we need to, but I also wanted to put in some loofah. Earlier, I had put in little pieces of loofah probably a couple months ago, but I can't find them. They're probably still here somewhere, but this is a loofah that we've used for about the last year in our kitchen. I rinsed it real well. And then here is one that we're starting over with. They grow long, and I've showed them before and you can cut them to size but this is our new one and this is the one I'm gonna put in the bin when we dig around all right so let's get started I am not sure which side is the slow food and which side is the fast food now we separated them with newspaper and I'm not gonna dig around all over like I usually do I just kind of want to get to where each of those things were and they may be vertical or they may be horizontal we'll just have to see but one of them had broccoli and lettuce and that represented the fast food. And the other one had apple slices and banana peels and that was the slow food. So we're starting to get to something right here. And I think I'm seeing apple cores and apple slices. So let me just kind of dig in and see what I, I can get. And of course, I don't have my pliers out, but we found a peach seed. And yep, here we go. So we are seeing some worms here. I'll dig in a little bit. There we go. So they've definitely got into here. And here's a banana peel. And that newspaper ripped right up. You can see it's very moist. It was dry when we started off. But definitely some worms in there. And you can see they haven't penetrated down in between as much. There's a little cluster of them. But they're definitely going for the slow food a little bit here. Not any kind of big worm ball or anything. And here's some peppers and just a little bit of mites, which I commonly see with apple slices that last a long time. So let me go ahead and put these back in and maybe we can add some castings and almost prevent them from sticking back together a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is go for the fast food. Now it's been six days since we were in here, which is a little bit earlier than I jump into this worm bin, but that's because I didn't want the fast food to go so fast that we didn't see it. So let me bury that up. And I don't think we're gonna feed or we're gonna feed just a little bit on the sides, but I'll make that determination after I get through this fast food. So over here is where the fast food is. And I was completely wrong. <laughs> the raspberry bag is right here. In fact, let's go, let's go jump into that real quick and see how they did with that. Now, Anne over at Plant Obsessed showed me this technique and she put some food in a Ziploc bag or it had been in there while she was storing it. And I tried it before and I did it with lettuce and it worked out real well. But I'm wondering if these raspberries are doing as well as lettuce would have done. That's kind of what's in there, still some worms. But let's see how they did with this. And the whole point of this was, you know, if you put stuff in a bag and you pour it out, there's still a lot of residue in there. And if you just put it right in there, the worms will eat it up. Now, I think this was in there. I think this came from the bag. I kind of got distracted, but it's a little worm ball right there that was in that bag and joined those raspberries. So compared to last time, they have really chowed down on those raspberries. And I don't smell that raspberry fermented odor that I'd smelled last time. So I think, I think they did pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of leave this bag to the side. They've cleaned it out pretty good from what I saw. It's just castings. So I may let it dry out, get the castings going, and I'll get all these worms that you saw in there. But I'm just gonna set that to the side and we'll let these worms go free. All right, let's get back to the task at hand, which is the fast food. And there was a big old broccoli stalk that we put in there. So I'm kind of expecting to see that. The lettuce might be gone. Let's keep digging. I'm seeing lots of worms. I'm not seeing anything yet. Maybe a little bit of broccoli right here. Oh, I just put my hands in. Serious amounts of worms, I think. Either that or mushy food. Let me get underneath and see what we've got going here. Oh, yeah. There we go. And that is why we call it fast food, because the worms just absolutely go towards it. And it looks like they went all around and got the lettuce out. And now they're starting to attack that broccoli. And oh my gosh, 
There's some mites there too, which is expected for food that lasts in here a little bit longer. <laughs> wow, here's the baby bok choy right here that they're taking apart. But look in here. They have started to enter into the broccoli, probably because it's easier to get in there than it is to get through the hard or the tough skin right here. So that's pretty cool. So let's just say that lettuce is absolutely a fast food and broccoli is too, but yeah, again, look at that. They're all inside there. And it's, I mean, it's almost like, <laughs> look at this. It is, they're eating it out from the inside out of the broccoli stock. That is so cool. Now, had I sliced it up, this would probably be mostly gone and maybe just have the skin left. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is definitely further along than the slow food. And certainly the numbers surrounding this food is far greater than that slow food. And I still feel underneath, I feel a lot of worms under here still. And sure enough, all throughout, all throughout. All right, and you'll notice, I don't see any of the newspaper. Certainly nothing that was on top. So they ate through that pretty quick. That got wet and I'm sure they just, that wasn't a barrier for them at all. So let me put that back down and find the other stalks. Put a little space in between them. But that was good. That was just a little demonstration of why I say fast food versus slow food. And again, I think it was Anne at Plant Obsessed that kind of introduced me to those terms fast food and slow food doesn't mean going out to McDonald's or Burger King or some fast food joint, but rather how quickly or slowly the worms go to it. Now I thought for sure when I was worm farming that an apple would be fast food, but it's actually one of the slow foods. So you just never know which is which until you experiment within your bin. While I find a place to put this loofah, I just want to talk about one thing. I'm seeing a lot of people with spring fever and doing seed starting, that kind of thing, which is great. I've actually started seed starting also, but now is also a great time to get your worm bins going. And here's that loofah that we're going to put in. Because in about 90 to 100 days from now, you will have rich castings if you start a worm bin right now. And that's actually a perfect time for when your garden is going to need some more nutrients and possibly even some compost tea that you can make from your worm castings. So if you've got spring fever, don't forget to start your seeds, but also don't forget to start your worm bin. If you're wondering how to start a worm bin, I've got a couple videos on how to do that. In fact, I've got two other bins and I do experiments and I have to reset them when I pull the castings out. So you'll see how to start worm bins in the various containers that I have. I have a vermi hut and a tiny worm bin. Go ahead and check that out. Hit subscribe and you'll be notified if you ring the bell for when I release a new video. And then the other thing I wanted to kind of address with a bin like this, you probably see how many castings form, and I put a lot of bedding in on all my feedings, and it kind of disappears pretty quickly. That's because I have a lot of worms in here. This is about four to 5,000 worms. But in addition to that, this bin is almost two years old, and it has a very established mic microbial flora inside of it. There are just tons of microbes, microorganisms, and molds and fungi, that kind of thing. So. With those in this bin, it really helps to break down the food and helps the worms to be able to get to it and digest it fast. So if you start a worm bin and you don't see it coming along as fast as my bin, that's probably because the microbial life needs to continue to build within your bins. And it'll happen. It will happen. It just takes a little bit of patience. So with that, I hope everybody is having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.